this is like... <laughs> hey, this is not a spring chick, and one of the things you're going to notice is this is actually, we're calling this day three and day four of sundowns. The reason why it's day three and day four is because Snowmageddon hit. You're going, what in the world? Well, let's just say that the highway patrol advised people to find an all-night party and to stay off the roads. They told me. I mean, I got as close as a couple of miles, and that's all I could get in. Yeah. Because the snow was on the front bumper of our SUV. Yeah. That was... But I, I keep... We've got to correct this. Snowmageddon did not happen. As they said over where I was staying with the movie crew, that it was the greatest day of special effects in the history of the motion picture industry, that they thought that... George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, and the people that produced Hugo for Martin Scorsese all got together and created a magnificent fake <laughs> winter wonderland for everybody. <laughs> that the two foot of snow in Park City did not happen. Because I can guarantee you, if it had had that much snow, people would have been skiing the next day. They would have been skiing. And since they weren't skiing... Well, actually, they did ski after snow again. Well, yeah, but they, they have manifest... They had snow... They, they, do, they do their own powder for the slopes, but... The place was filled full of skiers, and nobody was up on the slopes on a bright, sunshiny day. Oh, I will tell you, it's like, when you got into town, first of all, I was lucky to get into town. I was late for my facial. My other friend, Cassandra, was late for her facial because we couldn't get in because like, it, I did oh, the roads were not cleared. No. They were alive. clearing some roads, but not all the roads. Oh, no. I got to correct that. The snow crews were out before a single flake ever hit the ground. That's what they, that was the company line on television. It did not happen. Yeah, that's why when we were coming into town, we had whiteouts. Yeah, and and the pictures that we have aren't real pictures. They're fake They're pictures. They're manufactured pictures. Um, that's why we have so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, I got into town for the Lumine facial. Lumine happens to be a skincare brand out of... Finland, um, and it's very, I'm trying to think, I think it's a natural line, it's very relaxing, calming, um, they did a facial right there at the Bertoli, remember the soup chalet place with Jen Art, in there, they did a facial with everybody around, nice, relaxing, they also put your makeup on too, it's one of the things I learned, is that if you're going to get a facial, make sure they put makeup on for you afterwards, <laughs> and so, yes, they started off with that. And then I had friends that came and joined over there at the Bertoli Meeks, um, Shelley. And here's part of it is you see the people going in and around. And so a lot of times people were asking, they said, are you from, do you have a film here? And the next question was, are you from L.A. or New York? <laughs> or New York or L.A.? Whichever it was, because it seemed like that's what most of Sundance was. And so I did see actors and actresses up there that I didn't know were coming that had literally decided to show come like the day before or a couple of days beforehand. They knew somebody that had somebody that had a condo, you know, that type of thing. And so they were, yeah, at Sundance. So that was cool. I found out that there was um, a PR conduct had a, a white tent, which was doing press jackets. And I kept going over there, I kept missing it. I'm thinking, they've got to have a schedule. So anyway, um, it was... They were just helping to coordinate it. Somebody else was writing it, so we never did quite coordinate. Although that would have been good because I had just missed Peter Jackson. Yes, Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings, was doing a press junket there with some press people with only like about 25 people there, which actually would have been 25 press people, which would have been really, really sweet. <laughs> yeah. Now you see why I kept going back and going back. Um, one of the other things we did, oh, and then we brought friends over to the live green um, lounge, and you know they got their face done, they got their hair done, they relaxed. Went over to the Bing bar for lunch. Yes, Bing, as in Microsoft Bing. Um, they have it set up um, during the day, and they, it's a lounge where people are sitting there doing interviews all over the place, which actually is kind of cool and relaxed. Um, you can go ahead and do that. And then during the night, it turns into a club where people are hanging out, and you know, it, it's a great place. So anyway, it was nice just to sit down, have lunch, enjoy it for a few minutes. Then we off to <laughs> the AP Fender Lounge. One of the things I learned is when you get approved, sometimes the approvals you think you have are not quite the approvals that you think you have. 
because, for example, sometimes you get approval for the party, and then there's approval for the party and the carpet, or there's approvals only for the carpet, approval for the dinner, right? Because uh -huh. her friend thought she was approved for the lounge, and she was approved, actually, she thought she was approved for the suite, she was approved for the lounge only, which means you could just go into one area, have drinks, get your hair done, get your face done, but you couldn't go over to the area where they're doing the gifting lounge. So, you know, we learned some of those things. One of the other things we learned, too, is just because your name's on the list does not mean you're going to get in because somebody else may use your name. Yeah, that does happen. Um, so, from the AP Fender Lounge, we met a gentleman from the Utah Film Commission. So, we then dropped back by the Utah Film Commission. They wanted to show some things and then went over to the Bing Bar and did interviews with some of the actors' friends that I was hanging with, um, Cassandra Hepburn and Vicki Lindsay. Cassandra Hepburn is in the new movie Dragon Child with Eric Roberts and Gary Busey. And she was also one of the... Actually, I didn't know this until a few days later. Is in one of the shows that's premiering on the Sundance channel. She actually is in that. She didn't tell me. And was also there. And then also Vicki Lindsay, the ex-fiance of Jeff Conaway, was also there. So we did interviews with them. And then... <laughs> then we were... Um, Cassandra went off with her friends, right? They were going to go grab something to eat. I stayed with my my other friends, Vicki and um, Kelly and all that. And so we decided to go get to the Getty Wire Image Place. Yeah. You go, what? Yeah, we went over there to go get pictures. Because half of being there, especially if you're talented, is you need to get your picture taken. Because, you know, it's kind of like if your picture isn't taken, it's like you weren't there. Right? Because that's one of the reasons they go to be there. Well, what happened was, by the time we did all that, the place, the Stellar 12 Bar, where we were going to go, was no longer serving food, and they were closing and cleaning up for the next party. <laughs> so we missed that. But the good part is, well, let's just say, I guess we were good at begging. Because <laughs> oh, you were girls. Girls. We were hungry, so we knocked on this cafe on the back door begging for some food because we were all getting low blood sugar. And fortunately, they were very kind to us who did, from the Bridge Cafe and Grill. It's just like, we needed a little something. What we found out very shortly was they were actually doing the food and catering for the next party we were going to that was going to start in like 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so it worked out fine. And the next party was for <laughs> Tao T-Mobile Google Music. Tao, the Tao nightclub in Vegas. T-Mobile is in the cell phone carrier and um, Google Music. And that one was really cool. They had all these um, different people coming in and out. Um, they had drinks. They had hors d'oeuvres coming through. It's just nice, relaxed atmosphere. They did have some of, you know, the, um, how should we call it, familiar scenes from the Tao Club in Vegas. You would see, you know, the, the statues and things, things like that. Next up was Pinups and Pussycats Gallery over there on Main Street. Now, here's the one thing I'm going to tell you about, is Vicky's image is a, a pinup girl. So this is snow again. It is a miserable snow. I learned firsthand, while sometimes, while you may have warm boots, it may be important <laughs> to have treads on your shoes <laughs> and have them waterproof. Yeah, well, I did advise her <laughs> of that before we left, and... Well, I figured I'd stay out of the puddles because see the day before I wore shoes that had treads but they had heels and I got really tired walking up and down because Main Street is on a hill. Yeah, but we were going out into the snow and they, <laughs> I knew that there was snow and her shoes were not meant for snow walking. I know, I didn't realize they had few, so few treads, which did give me an excuse to grab onto like every guy that was around. Yeah, right. She needed the excuse. <laughs> Do what you have to do. So we went up to the pinups and what we pinups and push-up gallery, took some pictures, kind of hung out there, and then yes, to the next spot was um, the vibe party. You're going what? Vibe like is in Vibe magazine. Um, this is where I split off from the other people, um, reconnected with some of the other ones. And Vibe magazine was having their party. They were actually pretty strict about the RSVPs to get in. I know, does that surprise you? I'm like, yeah, going like, oh yeah, they were pretty strict. They're going, oh yeah, you're the plus one. 
well, they already had the, you know, it's like, we got, so anyway, we got in, it was nice, relaxed, um, they did have B vitamins. Yeah. That you could, like, like little candy things. Yeah, but here comes the funny part, folks. What? When I left, when I left, the, the highway patrol said, go find yourself an all-night party if possible to stay there. They couldn't find any all night parties. Well, that was kind of the problem. It's like one of the other friends, she's like, I think we have an all night party here. Well, what happened was I had to split off from them to go to the other party and then reconnect, and then they couldn't get in, and then they finally got in later, but we were, but wasn't quite certain, and we were leaving. What happened was the snow that never happened kept people from going to the events, which yeah. basically killed the parties. Well, yeah, because what happened was at the towel party, we were having to leave because they were closing it down. Yeah. Yeah, because we did it pinups and pussy cat put pu pinups and pussy cat's gallery, and then what I for, didn't tell you was we went back to Tao. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to vibe. No. See, this is the advantage. It's, it's all relatively close. So you're walking. You're walking up and down the hills. Um, the other friend was walking in like five inch hills because yeah. the stylist had dressed her like that. No. Oh. And I could not <clears throat> get in to pick her up this night because of the fact that we. Like I said, um, yeah. the snow was at the uh, the bottom on the SUV, and we had, as they call, California tires on our car. Right. Which means the treads are designed for driving in California, but not for going in the snow. Uh -uh. So even with change, it didn't make any difference. Yeah, so what we, we were trying to stay out longer. We went back to AP and Fender. Well, actually, to the Fender Lounge. We were listening to music. Of course, then they started turning on all the lights, and they're like, okay, guys, you got to wrap it up, go home. And I had seen other guys that were standing there going, um, I can't get back to Salt Lake City. He's yeah. like, I'm just going to try and find. He says, I tried to get a room. It was like five to $700, but they had no space available. Yeah, because um, uh, people at the resorts were laying on floors yeah. in the lobby because no one could get, okay, the shuttle service stopped because of insurance problems. Mm -hmm. And the shuttle service stopped three hours before anybody yeah, would leave. Yeah, so Here's part of it is, if you're in town, there's nothing, you can't go anywhere. No. So, what, you stay at a hotel. I had spoken with one of the security guys. He's like, yeah, I never made it home. He said, I slept in my car in the garage. But see, everybody was not lucky enough to have their car in a garage. Because if you slept in your car outside... You got cold. It would be freezing cold. Which is one of the reasons why we had all these blankets in the car. Just in case. You never know. We went to my friend's house, spent the night... He got up there. Yeah. Um, see, here's the other part is, is earlier, what was it, no, was it the previous day? Or maybe it was that, actually, I think it was that morning, which is why we were having a problem. Um, she tried to take her car out of the garage, and she hit an embankment because the rental car had bald tires. And so she had to go ahead and have it pulled back out. Okay, but see, her rental car was no good, and which meant we were relying on other people. I went back, crashed at the place. The next morning, yeah, next morning, you had to shovel it out. Fortunately, it wasn't me, but it was over. I took pictures of it. It was over a foot of snow that had come, because we had to be... <coughs> we were leaving there at 9.15 in the morning, had gotten back the night before. Probably about two thirty. Yep. Would be my guess. That's when you. That's about the time you. You wanted me to come and try again, yeah. but since you couldn't get to anywhere, I, I I couldn't stop the car anywhere. Oh. So mm -hmm. therefore, I couldn't come get her. So I was the bad person. No. She can't drive saying, in two foot of snow. I can't drive in the snow. But so. no. But remember, <laughs> this never. And this next. That we're talking this morning. I'm watching television, and they're proud of the fact that they were out ahead of the snow. And that there were, even though there were 400 accidents, 400, and that the freeway, the Highway 40 was shut down and became a parking lot three different times, it did not snow. Yeah, we did have record accidents and friends, um, other friends that came up, I'm just trying to remember if it was that day or the previous day, um, what day was that, Saturday, where they, they come up, came up, they got stranded, they actually got towed to Walmart in town and then got changed for the tires so they could go to parties that night. Yeah. yeah, we had an SUV with chains, and I just simply... I know. But we did find out, folks, there was Park City and then there's Park City. We stayed in Park City. Yeah. Not Park City. So, <laughs> that was one very long day. We spent yeah. most of the day 
trying to stay out of the snow. <laughs> yeah. know. The next day, though. It's beautiful. Totally. Well, I mean, it did have Tuesday snow showers, but there was, the snow showers were while the sun was shining, which was different. This day, I was so freaking antsy. Well, first of all, I didn't go home to my own place, which means you didn't have all the stuff you're used to. Fortunately, somehow I picked up the face stuff because I had gotten facial lemonade. Somebody had given me the hair stuff. So, out of all the stuff that I didn't have, I had just enough to wash my face. Oh, really bad. She had to look really good. What? The next day, I think next day everybody was looking like oh, everybody was looking what kind of. Went on, so. I know, because there I was not the only one that didn't quite make it home. No, that okay. The people from Louisiana had a bus, and instead of riding the bus to get out of that, they were hiring taxis to come back. Oh, really? Yeah. Finally, the bus did get there, but the, they they had to walk from where they were viewing movies mm -hmm. to where they could get the bus, and they weren't equipped for walking in the snow. There was not as much partying that night. <coughs> there was a lot the next day. I want to get the hell out of this place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the next morning, this is day four. This is, let me just yeah, This say, is four. Yeah, the sun was shining. This is day four, actually, of Sundance. This is our day five. Yeah. Um, the sun was shining. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was, like, getting really antsy, thinking, oh, wouldn't this be a wonderful day to go skiing? Because it absolutely was gorgeous. And there was tons of fresh snow and at the village lift which is um went down one of the areas they do have a lift that comes up into town yeah, right in the off of main street there's a lift that goes up i know which is funny that was cool yeah and thank you very much mcdonald's my cafe that was there because while we we're in the puma lounge slash wire image and gettys they were bringing in hot chocolates and i went over there and they had oatmeal yeah oh my gosh i forgot to get some of their apple pies they had a special Oh, they spent it had a special pie. Um, oh, now it makes me want to go up. And then they had all the drinks, and you could just order it. And they had all the celebrities. They would come in. They put their handprints up on the wall. And um, you know, and it was nice because it's like you didn't have to worry. You always had your high work. Um, so those guys were really nice, and they offered um, me if I wanted to to go ahead and sit there and do interviews with people. And then, ready for this? Then we went back over to lounge with getting wire because you know I was waiting for other stuff and I, at this time I didn't realize that I could go down to the gifting lounge um, but I was hanging over there because I found out the schedule of when the celebrities were coming yeah <laughs> and so I saw Kirsten Dunst um, James oh, it's Glover Danny Glover Danny Liv Glover. Tyler Liv Tyler yep um, was Alicia Elsa trying to think of her name. I will, I will remember these. Um, this, this is where, you know, pictures always help. Yeah. Um, so we, we were seeing them, and then a friend came and picked me up, and we went to the SAG Indie Brunch, which was really kind of cool, because this one actually is for SAG members, and I was fortunate that I was somebody's guest, and I got to go over there. And the actors and actresses were over there. Um, great networking with some of the agents and with the SAG people. Who then followed us over from the brunch over to the gifting lounge and it was the first time they'd been to the gifting lounge <laughs> which is i was actually kind of surprised um but we had you know what i mean you have to indoctrinate and we did interviews over there and then it was to the next spot well i, I wanted to, this is where one of those things is you run out of time with things that you want to do because every time you change locations if you're in town it's easy the next stop was ESPN viewing party, but this was at the St. Regis Hotel at Deer Valley. So to change venues, I needed to allow at least for about 45 minutes. Yep. So I went up there, and this is where my friend discovered somebody else had used their name, and they couldn't get anybody else in, and they were lucky enough to get in anyway. So I decided to take my time and, well, let's just say recharge, <laughs> recharge batteries before I went back into town. And then I met somebody else that I knew whose plus one was not coming, so I got to go to the party. <laughs> See? See how that works sometimes? I know. And so that was ESPN Lounge. And then, <laughs> after the ESPN viewing party, I met with my friend Liz on Easy Street. Yes, that's the name of the restaurant, which is right across from where the Creative Coalition dinner was going to be held. And we had a Creative Coalition carpet. And... Um, Daily, 
was there as the president, and some of the films and people that were being honored came through, which was great. We saw Ariel Winters from Modern Family that showed up. Um, Melissa Leo came. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember the actor. Oh, gosh, somebody was asking about it. One of the actors fainted that night, and this was on uh, the carpet. The guy from Office, uh, was it Tracy or? Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan, yep. Yeah. So I have pictures of Tracy Morgan there from the carpet. He was just not used to weather like that. It's you are just not used to the altitude. Well, he was the second person, I think. Bingham Ray died from a stroke while he was there. Oh, really? Yeah. Because, you know, it's like you're not used to the weather. And it just it hit, every, hit a lot of people really bad. Yeah. Um, so th at this point, I was totally wiped out and exhausted. One of my friends, some were going to the movies, some were at home taking naps, other people didn't come into town, and so I was by myself, and I was like, I just need to go home. But, see, part of it was, is somebody else I knew was doing a party that I knew personally, and I told him, I said, I don't know if I'm going to make it, the other people that were going to help me aren't, and I haven't didn't make it home, and I'm totally wiped out and exhausted. I said, if I can make it, I will be there at your event, because I was doing a covering of a carpet. For pictures, I says it won't be the same. Other people aren't with, but see, this is one of those things where the music was so blasted loud, I couldn't have done interviews anyway. Um, but I did get a lot of pictures, and this was for the HBO party for Love, Peace, and Hair Grease. Yeah. Yeah. So it was great because I saw people that I knew from LA, Megan Good, who was in her movie. I did find out she had 150 people from her movie that came up to Sundance. Which we have discovered there's a reason for the big entourage. Yeah. Anna Lynn McCord was in a movie, um, and she came across the carpet with her sister. And Anna Lynn is such a doll. She said, yeah, I play this pimply-faced, like, person. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she, you know, and you know when you talk to her, she's just, she is just so incredibly nice. And she says, I'm wearing my lucky jacket, this, like, kind of wrap cape. She says, after I got it, within two weeks, I found out we were going to be in Sundance. So she was wearing her lucky um, cape slash jacket. Her sister was there, who we'd seen from Sloan and Tate when it was brought out in um, d uh, clothing line, underwear, um, brought out in Southern California. So that was, I mean, okay. And then Tiffany came through. Tiffany's from 90210. And Nikita, she came through, as well as some other people that, you know, that you have seen, but it's like, by that time, I finished the carpet, I walked through the party, I was so freaking wiped out, I was so happy, I, because I didn't even know if I was going to make it, I was so happy, just to get back to the hotel, and have a really good night's sleep. Yeah, oh, which was about people. four or five hours. <laughs> oh, I know, well, you know, other people were supposed to come and tell me, and they basically were like, my driver doesn't want to go. <laughs> No, it was scary. Out My there. such and such, just like people are like, no, we're not going out. Because when I came back to get, when I got, it was snow showering again, yeah. and uh, you could see the okay, the black ice was everywhere. You could see it on the highway where it was looked bright and shiny, and the rest of it looked clean. Yeah. And after you did, we'd had that experience from the night before. There's a lot of people they just did not want to get out on the road. No, a lot of people just pulled up and left. Yeah. that day because they weren't going to do it again. No matter what they said, they were not going to go do it again. <coughs> they don't blame them. I got, I mean, I went sideways for about 400 foot. You did? Which was not... See, he didn't even tell me. He's telling me now. Well, no, I, I tried for the third time to go out that, you know, oh when I go to two something in the morning and that car, I mean, I, mean, I backed up the freeway. Well, it's not like there were a whole lot of people. <laughs> I backed it up. Well, and it helps that I do have an SUV. Yeah, but still with chains on it and which I discovered something very important about chains. The new chains are like coil springs, and they can come back and hit you. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I learned. That's not good Like I told the guy from Louisiana, he said, I didn't do that a second time. <laughs> yeah, and he said, you learned real quick, didn't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you do. So that's my wrap-up, my vlog from day three and four of Sundance, our day four and five. This five. <laughs> <laughs> the festival.